Water law is a critical part of water diplomacy. When we look at the issues of water sharing or pollution of water or even the impacts of climate change on water, whether we look at it at the local level, at the regional level, transboundary level, or even at the global level, the law plays a critical role in trying to address these issues. One could argue that it is actually the power politics that reflects in the laws and regulations and norms that develop. On the other hand, once such norms and regulations and rules are developed, these will in turn control power politics. So there is a sort of a relationship between the power politics processes as well as the institutionalization processes of international law. Now, if I look at law in general, I would argue that when we look at water, there are certain elements of public law that are important. So that is, how do different states deal with each other? But there are also elements of private international law or commercial law that is important, where we look at the role of the private sector and investment agencies and how they invest in water in different parts of the world. And all these different legal systems need to be studied in order to understand how we are going to protect water, how we are going to use water, and whose uses of water are to be prioritized over other uses. So water law is really quite complicated because it covers so many different fields, but it tries to come up with certain fair, legitimate, and um, uh, predictable rules for governing water in a way that we are ready to deal with this issue in the 21st century.